ready for you. Hello, Joseph. Welcome to the gate. Please be seated. Are you really? Yes, Joseph. I'm St. Peter. But you can call me Pete. Then I'm really. Dead as Elvis. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a little joke we have around here. So, what happens now? Now? Now comes the good part. I've been looking over your file, Joe. And I must tell you, I am very impressed. Thank you. I just tried my best to be a good person, that's all. Well, it paid off. Now tell me, Joseph, may I call you Joe? You know, Joe, there are many wonderful opportunities here for a soul like you. I'd like to help in any way I can, sir. That's good, very good. Joe, how would you like to fill a very important position here that was recently uh, vacated? I'd love to help, sir. What do I have to do? Well, you would be in charge of uh, a number of intellectual activities and uh, personnel matters, uh, some of which would be in a competitive sense, and you would coordinate uh, events. Joe, how would you like to be Satan? What? Satan, you know, the devil. Beelzebub, the Antichrist. Yeah, I know about Satan, but you want me to be Satan. It's an important job. We need you, Joe. No, wait, what do you mean you need me? I thought Satan was supposed to be immortal or something. Well, he is on Earth, but in hell, he's simply physically fit. Okay, but if he's so fit, then what happened to him? Well, you see, Joe, he fell into a tar pit. If you ask me, Adolf was a bad choice for Satan. I mean, he, he had this thing for taking long walks and staring at the pits for hours. I mean, we put up warning signs and everything, but, well, I guess it was bound to happen eventually. Wait, did you just say Adolf was Satan? Did I say Adolf? I meant Albert. You know, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein was Satan? Yeah, why not? We need guys who can solve problems and are quick on their feet. In fact, most Satans haven't been evil people. We need a Satan who has just arrived from the earthly material world and knows what humans desire. We need you, Joe. Why don't you wait a little while before you pick the next Satan? I mean, I'm sure there's a politician or something standing in line out there. Yeah, it has to be now. Satan doesn't make evil, he regulates it. And as a good person, you can appreciate what it would be like if evil weren't regulated. Every second that passes, the balance between good and evil is being tipped. If it's not you, Joe, I'll have to get someone else. And fast. So, what's it like? Well, for the inhabitants, it's not too hot. <laughs> but for Satan, 
the fringe benefits are amazing. First off, you get a huge palace with many servants to help you out. Any material object you want, it's yours. Doesn't sound too bad. Do I have to become ugly and goat-footed? Goat-footed? Of course not. In fact, as Satan, you can look like whoever you want to. Remember all that time you spent in the gym trying to get rid of that beer gut? <laughs> if you become Satan, you can look like whoever you want to with no effort at all. You can't lose, Joe. Is this some sort of a test? Why does everyone think that to go to heaven or hell, you've got to take some last chance exam? This is not reverse psychology. I'm telling you the truth. No, it's, it's immoral. I would have to kill people and start wars and ruin lives. Who said anything about killing people? We have another guy for that. Think of yourself as a gardener. You simply go around planting seeds in the minds of mortals. People are responsible for their actions, not Satan. Well, what if I fall into a pit or something like Albert did? Do I go to hell? Look, Joe, it's very simple. When you agree to be Satan, you serve a maximum term of 100 years. Now, if by some slight chance you happen to die before, then you go back to Earth as a mortal and serve out the rest of your term. There must be a catch. There is no catch. Look, Joe, I'm not supposed to tell you this. The work's not easy. Not anybody and everybody can be Satan. You're competing directly with the boss. I just, I don't, I don't know. I'd like to help, I just don't think this is for me. Well, Joe, it's your choice. Honestly, because you don't want it, it makes you even more qualified. But again, it's up to you. Well, I'm sorry, but I think you better give it to someone else. Very well. Please see Mrs. Templeton. I'm ready for you, Leon. Excuse me, Mrs. Templeton? Oh, I'm sorry. Heaven or hell? Heaven, I guess? Here is some information that will help you get started. If you have any questions, just consult the pamphlet. The elevator is down the hall. I'll do it. Excellent. Welcome aboard. What the hell is this? <laughs> Leon, there was competition for this job. Anyhow, don't worry. You're going to the same place. You son of a... <laughs> Off to a good start, Joe. <laughs> 
Oh, yes. You'll need this. 